On this episode of Stumbling Down History Road, we're going to be covering a, a, a very sensitive and very, very traumatic topic. We're going to be covering the history of the Worldwide Association of Specialty Programs and the director and founder, Robert Litchfield. Everything that is said is all allegations, and Robert Litchfield is currently under no criminal investigation, so everything is alleged and opinions. That said, that doesn't make what people went through any easier for any of this, and we're truly sorry for anything that this may cause. Um, nobody should have to experience anything like that. And if anybody needs help, there are ways to reach out. There are good people who want to help you. And I'll have a couple things going on throughout the video on the bottom for numbers you can call. So again, please, n no vigilanteism. We don't want to see anybody hurt. We just wanted to share a story, and... There's no easy way of going about this story. So... Thank you for... Allowing us to tell it. Fuck it. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck, Fuck it. We're doing it live, so. Fuck it, we're doing it live. Fuck it. What the hell is that? <laughs> it looks red. Oh, it's a shiny pack. It's like um, a, like a Mylar. Tonight on Stumbling Down History Road, to close us off for Shitbag September, we have... Uh, shit stain. The biggest shit stain of them all. Yeah. So far. Mm. Um... At least until we decide to do a live stream, possibly. We'll see how we're working on that one. For obvious legal reasons, uh, everything that is said is currently all allegations. Um, un unfortunately, nothing has been corroborated by any of the workers or any of the higher-ups. Uh, so everything, unfortunately, is just allegations until proven in a court of law. That said, I've done a little bit of research and unfortunately uh, there are many people who have gone through this and had to live through this and the family of who have to survive going forward with this and to them it's not allegations um, so I, I it, it sucks uh, to have to say that these are allegations um, because like you never want to hear something as bad as this it, it just shouldn't be that way and it's so. it's sad because it's 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 it's, so it's over levels. twenty years. The, yeah, the, the person has been around, involved in this since seventy nine with Majestic Ranch. That's almost fifty years worth of this shit. Yeah, and you know, uh, and and like, at some point, and, yeah, and, at, and at some point, people need closure. Yeah. However, they get it, you know, and fuck this guy. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's it's really fucking sad because. This is a, a, a guy who has the authority, has the ability in the right in the right um, state in the right state of mind for him because he's clearly not in the right state of mind. And I'm not trying to put any um, like I'm not trying to minimize minimize anything. anything. But this guy is clearly fucked in the mind. Like you don't do these things and have a a clear conscience and have like real rational thoughts you know and that and that said and, and let, the, yeah. let's carry on yeah get into it now so as we said tonight on stumbling down history road we're going to be talking about robert litchfield the the man behind wasps the man behind worldwide association of specialty programs for students which you I might, definitely didn't put too much S's on there. Some of the, <laughs> some of the, some of you guys might know it from the, uh, the program, the program on Netflix, which is the Netflix special. That some came of, out. some of you may actually know it because unfortunately, 
you've had to deal with it. Yeah. Over 10,000 people have been helped. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, it's. There, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the program, <clears throat> I actually. Uh, this affects me personally because um, my brother went to the academy at Ivory Ridge and um, he he was there for um, I want to say like it was probably seven and a half months I think or eight months and um, he pretty much he, he was uh, he was released w on his 18th birthday or after he graduated and I'm going to put graduated in air quotes because that's a whole yeah. nother thing we'll get, we'll get there. yeah we're gonna we'll we're get there um but yeah and uh so yeah it, i i've spoken to um the director of that of that documentary uh personally and you know i thanked her for for doing it i thanked her for um putting some justice out for yeah for just for just showing a lot of us what we never knew yeah um I'd a lot because they because my brother like so many other of the kids who went there uh were pretty much you know it was pounded into them that no one cared and that uh no one was ever going to believe them that they yeah. were liars and that's so everything was their own fault they yeah. brought this on and, themselves and you know it's crazy because i don't mean to cut you off no no go for it I'm only because i'm just piggybacking off what you said because you're saying that they're they're beating them beating this into their minds that they're liars that nobody cares that nobody this nobody that but like it's weird because and again i'm not point but it, it kind of plays into the state of mind of the person but also it kind of plays into it plays into the dynamic of what's going on in the family because they're taking these these kids that are that are their credibility might be shot in in some ways because you know they've kind of fractured certain relationships along the way so when they cry out for help it might be looked at as like, oh, they're just looking for a way out. They're just looking, you know, like, so, like, it's, the whole thing, it's just. It's fucked. It's fucked because they, it's like, it's such a, they're not only brainwashing the people that they're supposed to be helping, but they're kind of also brainwashing the families into thinking that they are helping, but also to think that this is kind of might be what they deserve to get them to graduate well, or to. Well, well, hold on. I, I, I want to say that. From everything that I've been able to find, I don't think a lot of the families knew what was happening. They because didn't. None of us did. There was advertisements in the back of magazines. It's like, this is a resort. This, yeah. is, this is a daycare, effectively. This um, is a, a different form of Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. This there, was, there was an entire uh, uh, one dedicated to – there was multiple ones dedicated to just women. There, it, so, it, it, so even if the fam – so, all right, so maybe the uh, – so the family might not have known or may have known in certain but, but even if families so, didn't know so if the families didn't know but I'm, I, what i'm saying is even if there was a cry out for help from somebody that's going through these things it might have things been, were vetted it might have been just like oh you know like he's just you know he's 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 going through his things he's got to you know this is part of the process he might not get you know like things so were they, vetted yeah so they, I, they weren't allowed to send out letters like that everything would get checked uh yeah i i have i've kept many of the letters that over the years i don't think i have them all but um i looked and there was there was letters where he wrote stuff and it was scribbled out to the point where you couldn't read it yeah he wouldn't have done that yeah. um and so like that that just go alludes to what was you know reported by the kids who went there in the documentary that you know they weren't well, they get consequences if they wrote something out of line and uh those consequences weren't always good they weren't you know so they were extreme uh, at times, I believe it was called aspect in some of them aspects, uh, uh, for like at least for the one that I heard involving uh, Manor Creek, mm -hmm. uh, they called it aspects or something. May like that. Maybe I'm only familiar with Ivy Ridge because yeah, uh, and I and I, I that you one know it's a little closer. Casa by the Sea, I kind of like looked into a little bit just because the same person who ran Ivy Ridge ran that one, and. Uh, you know, he's uh, you could say alleged all you want, but there's video proof of that guy ragdolling kids for no good reason. So, and you can find it. Just look up Jason Finless and just look up, you know, you'll find it. Um, 
it, it's, it's even in the program is there's uh you'll you'll see stuff like that so so do we want to start from the beginning we need to get our introductions out of the way no 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 i meant like who this man is how he got started I mean, in this we really even did that, right? yeah uh well yeah it's robert it's browning called. litchfield uh yeah. he and i'm gonna have to go off a cheat sheet here i should know a lot more about this guy but um well i know that he started in 79 with uh dan pert over in utah with the uh majestic oh, Ma uh, majestic utah. manor majestic ridge that makes sense because that wasn't really him it was more his brother-in-law but that was he, yes he was associated with it so yeah because he was married to uh patricia pert so that's how they keep it in the family because uh his sister um robert's sister majestic ranch I think um sorry. is married to finlinson and they keep it in the family you know to keep it tight you know, they, they don't really, outsiders are, you know, it's it's generally people who, you know, are yeah. part of the family. And, uh, you know, so he got started, like you said, in, in 79 and uh, just grew. He just grew. He, he just kept, they kept opening places up and, and they no, all fall under the same type of, uh, you know, allegations, like you said. Now, um, now this was all... Common for profit as well right like yes. this wasn't so is it, uh, this wasn't a sent to juvie type thing this was all for profit that people were paying for is it, yeah oh you know my like a, my um, parents honestly they paid uh i think like god i want to i want i don't want to put like it's, this it's, isn't it's, something it's, that insurance covers right like it's not no like no, no, no 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 they had to pay out of pocket like my father had a boat that you know he he worked his whole mm -hmm. life for and to help my brother sold that boat so he could pay the tuition and the um you know t to get him healed by the professionals and by professionals we mean people hired off the streets without any kind of background or education involved in um you know substance abuse ch children's health. behavior and anything, and anything, anything, anything like that it's anything just literally anyone who they could hire healing. in that town anything, anything that would that would work Allegedly therapeutic. Um, well, yeah, allegedly. Yeah. So, uh, but here's the thing: like, you know, they 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 advertised as a place that you know. Um, it was a resort. It was, it was a, a resort. To, they were they were, they were kids playing football outside. So they're, you know, they're they're having a picnic. They're Olympic swimming pools, academics. Just yeah, no, therapists, it was actual therapists, not just you know what they called the therapists. These kids couldn't look out of their they couldn't look out of their line of sight for if you were in the earlier uh, stages so just to just to like couldn't even do that if you looked you at a line you get a consequence just to give you an idea of the scope that like these so paris hilton actually went to i believe it was like uh, one of the, one of the ones in utah that and she tells the stories that are very similar to these stories and obviously she made it out but there's a documentary on Vice that talks about it. So like, they, they're, in, they, they're reaching everybody. Like you said, they were on magazines. So it wasn't just like they're getting so influential people. They're getting, uh, you know. So, so it's it's one of those things where they had all over the world, you know. And yeah. So the amount of people that that, that were affected was insane. Yeah, you there's a lot more people getting involved now, and even Paris Hilton's group has joined, uh, pretty much the you know the people fighting. It's it's like a whole big fight now. So yeah. did you well, got a these question? Are the types that like, because I've heard about like these places where they'll just like fucking kidnap the kids. Not quite kidnap. Uh, no, but no. Not far from. I'll I'll so be I mean, real. Like, more, I was like there the night my brother got taken. Yeah, like they show up in like a they fucking like black vi uh, black van then is what they essentially. I don't remember what color the van was because it was the middle of the night. But that some bitch pulled up into the driveway. Um, it was in the driveway when I got home actually. But it, it when I when I pulled up, my brother was already in the van, yelling and pleading. Um, I I you know it's it was the guys were real intimidating and uh, they literally took him out of his room, uh, just ambushed him yeah, and yeah, he didn't know what was going on and he got driven all the way the fuck up to Oxenburg, which is like uh pretty much right near ottawa canada Jeez. 
Yeah, it's, I, I, I took a quick look. It's, it's up at the fucking border. Yeah, it's nowhere land. And uh, there's a reason for that. Um, and, you know, like, my parents, in order to be able to see him, he had to reach a certain level. And yeah. they make it almost impossible to get to that level because they're always knocking you back down for, like, the most ridiculous stuff. And um, you can interview any kid that went there because I've talked to a lot of them. And they all say the same shit. Yeah. Um, some of them have worse stories than others. Uh, I, I would never, ever repeat anyone's story here. Um, you know, if they ever wanted to share it, you know, that's that's on them. But yeah. By all means, we'll go for the I've, black one. Yeah. I, I've listened to a couple different stories through uh, a podcast that is loosely associated <coughs> with Paris Hilton. Uh, Trapped, in, uh, Trapped in Treatment is the name of it. It's okay. on Spotify, and there's like five. Uh, there's like five episodes talking just about different stories, and then there's another five episodes talking about ramifications and this and that, and then there's a couple talking about how to uh, like help out and everything like that. And it just, I couldn't make it through episode three. It, it's brutal, and so I went to the military, then up to like you know undermine anything like this it, it's the way that they made it sound was the most intense boot camp that you could ever imagine paired up with the fact of you were also the kid from holes having to dig ditches for no fucking reason like they were talking about an eight-year-old sitting on a milk crate just staring into the sun all day because he didn't want to shovel piles of maneuver uh, manure. It, it, it just... It, it's some fucking depressing shit. Somebody was used as a doormat. Literally. What? they. Somebody was literally... I am, a door, uh, I am a doormat. And they were laying... On, uh, according to this, they were laying on their stomach first. And the person that was responsible for them, their, uh, their person, their whatever the fuck they want to call them handler something like that they uh they were like oh you're yeah. not getting enough out of this flip over so this way you can stare into their face as they step on you you about the dorm parent dorm parent sounds kind of right but i don't think it was a dorm parent because the dorm parents i think are usually like uh 19 20 year olds right but this was supposed to be a therapy guy okay uh, a counselor or something like oh, that okay yeah one of the other like hired off of the street not a Hey, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm a guidance counselor for a weekly meetup type bullshit. Mm -hmm. These are they have like peers and stuff, right? That, that are like, oh, this person went through the program and he graduated. Is that type thing? Because dorm they, parents. That's what the dorm parents are. Called? That's some of them. Some of them are just like, eighteen year olds with, uh, twenty year olds with different like babysitting experiences from things that I've been able to find. There, there's a the, it's not oh yeah, it's, it, one it's, of the dorm parents uh. That went to that that was a dorm parent at Ivy Ridge. Uh, he's he's I mean he's in jail for murder. Can I say that? You can say whatever you want. Um, if you need, he, he's in jail for murder, not related to an Ivy Ridge thing. But he's he's in jail for murder. But he was a dorm parent, and he was like a soccer coach or something. He was like, you know, he. he <laughs> He's kind of a generic counselor. He's, yeah, he, he's, he, you know, he has a history with kids. He has a history with kids, exactly. And uh, Dan Schneider's best friend. It's pretty funny because there was a testimony. Some woman got really upset that people were uh, trashed because a lot of he came down on him after the documentary because he was mentioned. And uh, she was sticking up the, for him. The dorm parent that you were referencing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was uh, – because there was allegations against him, and then he threatened – he went on – Against his lawyer's advice, he went on and left this whole tirade about, uh, you know, how the the kids are like lying and this and that, and he, you yeah. know, on stand. What the? He did that on stand. No, he did it in front of his own camera. Like he, it's. <laughs> I watched it. I watched the whole thing, and he, uh, he literally just he seemed guilty to me, but, um, that's my that was my opinion because usually. To me, guilty people are the ones that get angry, yeah, um, and don't like, you yeah. know, yeah. like 
try to just like tell be them, yeah, be rational and be like, well, you know, I was doing this at the time, so this couldn't have been me. Yeah, like, but you know, he. I guess there was. What allegations. do you mean this so was me? He, but was like, he trying to? S- was he trying to say that the kids were lying as a whole? Or no, there was one kid the in kid particular. That there the was kids one. Were lying about what he did. So here's the thing. <laughs> almost became a little bit of an ally because uh, the the first thing was about one particular person who accused him of sexual misconduct. And then he went on to rant and rave about how, like, they're lying, they're lying, there's no way it could have possibly happened, blah, 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 this and that. But he was, like, really angry, and he made he made physical threats to him. Um, obviously didn't follow through with those, but he followed through with some physical threats to somebody else, and he's in jail now. <laughs> yeah. Um but yeah, he actually went on in between all that. He went on somebody's podcast. Uh, has a podcast called or something. Okay. Um, I I don't know. <laughs> I can't even something. say his okay. last name. It's yeah, he uh enough. he had him and another one. They're both survivors. Huh. They're both survivors, and they had John Free on and started going off on how the place was fucked up and how you know things did go down and he watched jason finlinson physically abuse people for no reason so that's from the word he said it on camera i'm not saying anything that isn't out there um so he he pretty much it we thought he was an ally but um no he yeah he um where i i don't even remember where i started before all that so we were talking about dorm parents yeah dorm parents so yeah he's definitely as far as dorm parents go, um, you know, he wasn't the worst of them, uh, from what I've heard. But he wasn't great, you know. He, he It takes a certain type of person to work in that environment day in, day out without being like, something ain't right here. Like, I don't think I can do this anymore. But I don't think I can sit on a child See, and just because, uh, st- watch him stop squirming. Yeah, right, yeah. I, like Wait, you, what? It's, it's, like, obviously, you're doing it. And you're actually physically harming somebody, which is clearly not right. But if you just sit there and you're watching, and over time you're still not like, dude, you got to stop, or I got to get the fuck out of here because like this isn't right. Then you're just sitting there and you're complicit to it. Then that person is also fucking part of the problem too, even if yeah. they're not physically doing it. But but so they are they're literally all right. I worked for a while. I worked with. Uh, mentally handicapped adults. They were, they had mental illnesses. They had uh, physical Ill, uh, problems. They had things. Yeah, things were going but, on. Multi, multi, multi axis diagnosis. Right. So, I had to go to school. The other people that I worked with had to go to school. We had to learn how to take care of these people so that we can properly give them the the advice that they need or whatever. Right. The people that these these guys that they were hiring. Off like the fucking saying, street. They were just a yeah. random person. Like, I needed to show that I had some background. I had to do all, you know, like, whatever. They're like, oh, you babysat when you were 10? Come on in. Yeah, you know, like, that's not the fucking ideal way to get anybody help in, at all. But then it's also easy to get them in here and just be like, well, you want a job, and this is how it's done here. And then they kind of just like, yeah, I want a job. This is how it's done here. And then they kind of just, th- it just snowballs through that. And if you hire somebody who's like smart, like who has an education, is like, yo, this isn't what I was fucking taught. This is not what's fucking supposed to happen. You're more likely to get somebody who's going to be a whistleblower. So they hire these people, and it's it just reciprocate. It just oh, it just c- continues to fucking happen, and it's fucked up because like there's these are people that are put in a position that are they're they're supposed to help these people, right? Know? Like they're these are. They're getting people that the family is like, this is a, my last resort to help my loved one. Please, I'm begging you. And they're exploiting everything about the whole entire situation from the money that they're taking, which is basically robbing the family. Mm-hmm. And then they're robbing the family of the, f- of the, of the individual's life. I felt it on every life. level. We got, my family got robbed of, you know, monetarily first. And then years later, you know, my brother... My brother took his own life because of the police. So, and that's that's from his own mouth to my mother, you know. So, you know that that that's al- a- allegedly too because you know I didn't hear him say that, mm. but my mother says that he did, and 
my con- my mother wouldn't say that yeah, that wasn't the case. Yeah, so that's probably, like, in that's my heart, words that she doesn't want to hear. In my heart, I know for sure. Keep tapping me. I'm just saying something. From my, in, in my heart, for sure, I I know that um, you know, I kn- I know that uh, my brother felt what more than eighty other kids who went to Ivy Ridge felt when they could no longer take it in some form. Uh, there's eighty. There's there's more than eighty. That's the count. I think um, if you look it up, it says something like sixty or something like that. But the people know around. We found out about more. It's it's, it's it was eighty one as of like a month ago. Uh, you know that's those numbers don't really con- they don't lie. Uh, what did they fix? What did this place fix? Nothing. They they all they did was damage people, break them down. Um, and s- I'll be real, you know, I'm I'm going to tell you there's a very select few that thrived. Um, but it wasn't because of the school. It's because of the people that they were. And I've met these people, and I could tell you that they, they, they battled through it. And they, they you know, uh, I'm going to tell you, he was there for years, years and years. Um he hated it there. He has nightmares. He, 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 he'll tell you he's, you know, he's very active with his family because he knows everyone went through something. He Mm -hmm. keeps in touch with people. He talks to my mother all the time. He comes out and sees my mother. Um, it's a tight community, but God bless him. He, and you know, he went on to be very successful. You know, he, he's owner of multiple pharmacies and, um, He's used, uh, you know, there, there's been certain times where the, f- the families have gotten together for whatever. They did a rally in Ogdensburg recently. Um, he flew people there. They couldn't afford to go there. Uh, he's a good dude and rock. <laughs> so, I mean, there's good people in that community. But they all stick together because they all yeah, went through something exactly. horrible. Yeah. And it's because of Robert Browning Nitchvi- uh, Litchfield and Narvin Litchfield and Jason Finlinson, um, the people that, you know, they really deserve to be featured in this uh yeah. in this in this episode yeah. of Shipbag September Ship because September um, guys, these you know, guys. allegations. All allegations well, but yeah, allegedly, allegedly. Uh but but you know uh, now I have a I question. don't know how many people are gonna lie. <laughs> I have a question. Well, What's yeah, up? That, so I know that a lot of people ended up there for an extended period of time under the assumption that it was only gonna be like a summer or this or that. Is that what happened with your brother? Because you said he was there for seven and a half months. So my brother was a case where... Um, and you don't have to... No, I don't mind. I don't mind. My, my mother, uh, she's been... She's very honest. She's been very vocal. She's gone on the news. She's gone to the... She's spoken. You know, she's, she's just... She's been on the news a few times about this. Um, so, like... And she doesn't hold back. So, uh, you know, they had tried certain things with him and, uh, you know, certain professional things like, uh, for his behavior, um, he, he, you know, and this is before Ivy, this is before Ivy Rich and he could, he was not staying, he, he wasn't, um, you know, he, he wouldn't stay in school. He, his grades were dropping. He, you know, he's a good kid. He's a good kid. And and uh he just started to kind of derail a little bit and um it was recommended through the school uh i think the guidance counselor what that uh yeah well she sent someone else uh she had recommended someone else at, that uh, went to the school so this pe- sorry sorry i didn't interrupt you so um so she she recommended a program like this no she, she recommended this, this program this particular program ivy and ridge and that's part that's of why, why yeah, that's part of has why. Anybody, has anybody so ever reached here's out the to thing. this lady and been like, well, it, "This is the worst it, thing I, that you I could think possibly she knows. ever fucking do"? I think she knows because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was it might have been her kid that went there. Um, because, oh. I, I, but I, I, you know, the thing is, is the, there was a referral program um, that they had. Of and course. There's always a so result. when when you when you got other kids to get signed up, they would give you like a free month's tuition, and a free month's tuition is a lot of fucking money. It's like I think 
in some cases, depending on what you got, it was like six grand, seven grand, something like that. And that's early 2000s, 90s yes. money. So, you know. So they're treating these kids kind of like a fucking, like, a telephone program referral. Yeah. Like, yeah, refer your friend to this. Like, you get a DraftKings offer. Refer your friend to DraftKings. No, 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 no. I, I don't think it was the kids no. that were no, treated as referrals. The, no, I think I'm it was the, like the, the parents. The parents, obviously. The parents. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they, yeah. they, they they're look. treating it like a... It, it, <clears throat> It's, it's, it's crazy. They preyed it's crazy upon. Like they preyed upon it. parents who felt helpless that they had yeah. no other options. But here's the thing, and and, and again, they're they not even. Know. They didn't yeah, know. They, didn't they know. thought that two things: a, the kid was going to get fixed, and b, they were going to, you know, be educated. So yeah. my brother, and I'm going to tell you, I could say this because this is all facts. My brother graduated, was issued an Ivy Ridge diploma that we have. When he went to go to college, that diploma, they went, this isn't real. He had to go back to, he had to go back to uh, Suffolk or whatever. He had to go do something, some program to re-graduate. And then Wait, he, so they were trying to say that it was like almost like a, a college. It was a fraud. Credited? They're in a lot of trouble. Like they, there's, that's, that's something that's under investigation so right they, now. So they were literally trying to say it was like almost like a college accredited, like. Well, high school accredited. Or like a yeah. high school, like, or like a GED type program. No, they said it was an academic program, like that you were gonna get a diploma. So like, so like, like it was, a, it was a school. Yeah, it's the South Harmon Institute of Technology, literally. Except for uh, that wasn't worse. Bartleby Gaines. Way I would have preferred him. So he seemed that, uh, fun. To just back up a little bit, the the kids that went to these programs, because you mentioned an eight year old kid that had to deal with some crazy ass shit, it was that, which is rare because right. usually you don't take them that young. So. Were these so the kids that went there? They were specifically. I think that was at Majestic Manor, uh, Majestic Ridge Ranch, which was, I believe, like I said, Dan yeah, Pert's yeah. prototype. Day, yeah, right? yeah. Not, not. I just I not a not a uh, Robert uh, I'm sure that wasn't the thing, norm but was, yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's so what like, I'm saying. I think it was the the baseline to try and figure out where they can get away with things. Yeah. So and like I, and I, I want to also talk loosely about Life Springs at some point, mm-hmm. sure. because but, but like my question yeah. is. So, what was like the quote unquote criteria for a recommendation or referral? Was it like drug abuse? Was it they, were in the they, back of they targeted was it, like everything? They, they anything was they could like, get a kid in there for just anybody that I don't remember the pamphlet, but I know that um, it definitely sold uh, like everything in there had was nothing that they offered. May I? So. Narvin uh, Litchfield has gone on record in a lawsuit. Uh, I believe it's Narvin. It might have been Dan. But one of those two have gone on record in a uh, for a lawsuit involving something invo- uh, with the Internet in the early 2000s for, like, a real estate type thing and how if you were to type in, like, how can I help my kid? How can I do this? How can I do that? How can I get some uh, counseling for my, uh, my teen? This and that. There was... Like the first two hundred hits were associated with one of these programs online, mm-hmm. and they just had a monopoly on different things with the early two thousands internet and late nineties internet. How much were they paying Google? They weren't at the time. That was the thing. So they actually were one of the reasons why Google no longer has like the if you type in all these keywords, if you do this and this, it's just too much and it sensory overloads and it just. You're not going to get recommended for anything. They were one of the people that actually caused this to change that uh, that whole thing because of how many fucking hits were going. They were like, oh, troubled? Oh, teen? Oh, scootin? Oh, this school? That, and it just every single fucking keyword. It's kind of like, just, you, yeah. Yeah, like when you look up on uh, WebMD. It's like, oh, yeah, I got that. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, I got so that too. And so, so, all right. It, it, like, it uh, was so what when because like Rich and I have done a bunch of talking about this, and I think I mentioned this to you, mm-hmm. um, off the like, uh, you know, off a while. so one of the things that that fa- fascinates me about this whole thing is like these guys, at what point did this whole thing turn south and it just was like now we're just a bunch of corrupt fucking shitbags, so like, like. I is it like from the start or was okay. it just from the start where it was like we're just gonna continually fucking take advantage 
and and it's just until the fucking wheels fall off type thing. So for the way the way yeah. The way the way it is is like they thrive for years because of um especially when my brother went it was before social media was huge and it's before like it was easy to find people so easily um they they were not really allowed to speak too much to each other um they found ways you know after hours whatever they found ways to get together um and i guess also i don't mean to cut you off but i guess also like you said, there was no internet, but also they're kind of bringing them to these remote areas. Like one yeah. of the spots up in the middle of fucking nowhere, right, yeah. b- right before you get to Canada, not a lot of people are going to be like, oh, let me take this trip. It's not going to be that easy. Or in the middle of Utah, like who's going to fucking Utah? Not many people are like, oh, it's, you know, like, so it's like they bury them into these places. I mean, Mormons are going to Utah. Yeah, so. Mormons. And now the hockey club is. Yeah. What? Yeah. Hmm? Um. So yeah, it was Majestic Ranch. They did an initial trial run in uh, 79 and then they became they they stopped and then again they started up in 86 to 2007 and uh so are, are they they took kids from 7 to 14 7 oh that's the the initial one the so it was according to what I'm able to find on Reddit with this so take it for what you will Majestic Ranch Academy was a wasp behavior program modification uh wasp behavior mod- Modification program Not founded in 86. Exactly. It was marked as a therapeutic boarding school for children as young as seven up to the age of 14. So. So is. Yeah. What? Uh, the so tuition annually, just for those wondering, um, according to 2007, was around $3,500 a month. Or about $42,000 per year. Mm-hmm. That's about as much as the usual household median income today, give or take. Yeah, that people made sacrifices. That's uh, a lot of people were it. They were cheated. It's it's literally Everybody, what it was. All of them they were, were all every, we were, everyone was cheated every in a lot one. of ways. It's there's no other way to put it. Alleged, not alleged. It, it's it is. It's like if you can see the facts and you can see everything that's happened and you can see the aftermath, then you can see what the hell the truth is. Yeah, it's just not. There's, I mean, I don't know. I there's reasons that like you know, these you know, the guy's wife left him and he's currently outside of the country. He's currently outside of the country and allegedly. I mean you know ale- allegedly, and a non Who said that? Country. So who, who said allegedly? Are any allegedly. Are these places still open? Yep. Uh, yes and so yes and no. So are these are these cases that are that are open or? Whatever is going on, these al- these accusations. He just said that. Huh? No, I'm saying, but are they, are they, criminal? Are they? I mean, civil. Like, are so. What do you mean? Like, is is this guy Lynchfield? Is he facing jail time? Or he's is not he just facing anything because he's 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 found ways above it. Like, he doesn't put his name. He's not like the guy in there cracking a whip. I mean, he might have been that guy at one point. He used to work in the industry, and that's how he got a grip on how it works. And then he opened up his own school, and then he opened up yeah, it from was that. Provo, he, Provo what? Pro, Provo Can, uh, Canyon, I think. Provo. Um, but it's yeah, it's right here in the beginning. He opened up. Uh, he worked, I know, initially for Provo Con, Provo, Provo Canyon, something like that. It's yeah, Provo Canyon. So what? At this point, is he now kind of just being like, oh well, these are a few off the rail employees that I you know like that are just gone rogue and doing some shit that we don't really it, it's one of those things like what we said with uh, uh Cross Creek. Ron Hubbard and <coughs> Vince McMahon at what point is somebody culpable because how how far distant are you from you know if you are a Scientologist or you're uh you're Vince McMahon and like you know, 30 years down the line, you, you're a guy dies because of fucking drug overdose because so like, he got started with painkillers on WWE. Like, so like at right, what so point like, is somebody culpable? So, like, all right, so I think I think there's a little, in my opinion, I think there's a little bit of a difference, right? Like, of course. Right, so like, all right, in in the case of like, say you guys talked about um, Dan Schneider and you guys talked about Vince McMahon, you talked about Al Ron Hubbard. That's like, what I say we did. Uh, allegedly, we spoke about him. What's that? Okay. No, no, no. I was waving him like that. Oh, I didn't hear what yeah, he said. Yeah, you're, 
You're good. So, like, all right, those three guys, like, all right, they exploited some people, they did some fucked up shit, but in the end, they the people that were there kind of had some gains out of it. They kind of got some stuff out of it. Like, all right, whatever, Nickelodeon people, like, yeah. like all right, it's, a, it's literally that, a running joke in the industry of, the, like, you slept your way to the top. So is it a f- doesn't uh, make it right. It does it does not it does it does not make it right. Not not at all does it make and, it right. And that's and in the whole thing is to, fucked up. That that it is, is in specific to just Dan Schneider with the joke of the industry sleeping your way to the top. Because there are people Harvey Weinstein. Oh yeah, all but, of them. All but of them. I I mean all. even in regards to L. Ron Hubbard and Scientology, there's a lot of people who just think of it as a way to find religion and get better for themselves and they or some of them are born into it, and they have no idea what the life is outside of it. So it, it, some people don't have an option. It's not a they gain something from it. Maybe it's from, it, yeah, if you're born into it, you don't have an option or whatever. And maybe it's part cultish, and you get brainwashed into it or whatever. Think about but, how many wrestlers fail after just a year, and now they have you, years it, of is lifelong. It, is, there, is there wrong or is it right? But that's kind of almost like. Is an NFL is it the owner of an NFL football team culpable because he has somebody on his team running the football and now he has CTE and he took his life? So it's it is a lot of gray areas that it's like, but what I'm saying is, the the people that we're talking about today are literally and preying on people that are really really weak. And, and that's where and, and that's where I'm and trying, and trying to say and trying that to Robert better. that Robert Litchfield, at what point is he distance himself? enough from being able to say but that, I am no longer culpable. But well, that's he, here's the thing. And this is what I'm going to say. He he thank you. in 1977, he worked for the place. Within 2 years he got promoted to residential program director. So he's learning a lot about this industry right now. Uh, he's promoted and trained by actual doctors. But at that point, um, sorry to cut you up. Do you think he was the, like the stuff that was going on in the facilities that he started running? Do you think that that's the stuff that he was learning in those facilities? I think it was he was pretty much learning the outline for I how to... I think it was fucked from the start. Yeah, I... So, like... As far as it, I'm concerned, you can't do that to a kid. Well, because... From, a early, from an early age in your life, you can't justify doing anything like that to a child. No. No. And that's why I'm saying I think from the beginning, the man but was people, fucked. But people do things and crazy things, and they try and justify it like that crazy lady who kidnapped thousands of babies in her opinion she was saving these babies and putting them in better lives because they, she was taking them from less fortunate families and giving them to affluent families she thought she was doing right I, this i don't know how this guy could think he's doing something right there there's that's what i'm saying like yeah. it, there, there is a marked difference between giving a child to somebody with a better household than what? fucking hitting and sexually she, assaulting, she allegedly. Yeah, but she kidnapped, allegedly. She kidnapped yeah, allegedly. the baby. So you're leaving out the part that she's stealing the baby. What? You're just like, oh, well, it's all right. She's giving it to a better family. That's cool. It well, I don't think that that's all right. I, I, no, I mean, no, no. I never of, said that was all that's right. What you just said. I yeah, literally I never no said that that was all right. right. You just said that. No, I literally never said that. Please do not fucking say that. Garrett, I think I will not fuck with you on this. Jackson, I think you Garrett. misspoke guys, because your guys, words what were the fuck are we talking What's going you're on? giving the baby to a better family. That's what your because words Because in were. her mind, she was giving the baby to a better family yeah, as opposed to cracking a fucking whip and causing physical or sexual that's abuse. That's why I'm saying there's no – I literally yeah, said – Yeah, there's no difference. In that's what I said, but I mean, there, okay, there, wait, there's I mean, no, there's no reason I'm that sorry, this, I'm confused. this guy could ever think – All right, what are you confused about? That's what I, First, what are you confused you know, about? Down at the end. How who the it? fuck are we talking about with the lady who took thousands of... Because w- my thing was... When the fuck did this... Who the fuck are we talking about? You just pulled this story out of nowhere. Because we're talking about how people might find something that they're doing, even though it's fucked up, they might find it in their brain to think... Uh, yeah, to everybody... Make them go- so are you asking so if, he thinks he, if he thinks he was doing something good? No, no I'm saying that Obviously, there is no I mean, possible way that he could... Uh, there's nothing that good. could... What I said is there's nothing that he could think of that could justify what he's doing as good. No. That's what I said. That's what my statement was. No, but as the way that you phrased it made it sound as though you were trying to give him an out to justification. No. No, I said that the lady might have some sort of justification in her mind. She might be able to justify it in okay. her head well, that we, she's taking these babies we, from less fortunate families and giving them to 
Yeah, what, she didn't what? harm no baby. She just passed them to someone else. Yeah, it's still technically she's still, harming. But she's no, still yeah, it's, it's, it's not great. It, yes, but you see, what I, I'm you see what I'm saying? The disconnect where it's like somebody could do something that's fucked up. No, nah, yeah, I see what you're saying. There's a big deg- there's a big degree in separation with, like, uh, you know, physically harming people over and over again and, and trying to— Just trying to find justification. And trying to help the baby. Literally almost killing somebody. Like, I'm saying how does this guy do these things and try and justify it in his mind that it's okay? Probably he right. doesn't. He he knows he knows how bad it is. So Money, here's the thing. Religion, this is he I, pretty much. Delusion. He, I, I gotta I gotta say again. This is all alleged. Unfortunately, yeah. the, like uh, unfortunately, I have to say this uh, for legal reasons. The channel, whatever, non fucking, you know, this is all separate from us. But like for legal reasons, mm-hmm. please don't fucking sue us. They have much of a leg to stand on. I, who? They, people can try and destroy us. And for legal reasons, I don't want to see that happen to any of you guys. Yeah. Not Well, not for legal reasons, I don't want to see that. For actual reasons, I don't want to see that. But for legal reasons, we have to say alleged. At yeah, some for, point, for, for sure. Then. Alleged, yeah. Um, so, so it took them like... What's up? I'm sorry. I'm, just, I'm trying to recollect. Cause we just, yeah, yeah let's, get, let's get to... you know, let, Let's rehash let, what's... What let's go back saying. a little bit. Let's All go right. back a little bit. So like he he started this he he himself worked at these places first yes and then he proceeded to work himself up the ladder yes and then proceed yes. to open up his own places within ten years of yeah he in 1987 he opened Cross Creek with uh, this guy Brent Facer so Passe uh, if he's uh, French I don't know now are these things supposed to be like religiously based or no. is it so yeah, here's the thing because like, some of them I, I know, guess. Like, because out of Utah, I'm almost almost. I'm just going to assume it's fucking Mormons. Mm-hmm. Because it's Utah, which yeah, I mean, they're all Mormons. Every single one of them. Are they all from Utah? Or are they just they're set well, up shop? They're in Utah? all from Utah. You see, the for the most part. See, I don't see because the, uh, the, the it's starting to make sense because the Mormons have a, have now got. I don't know. As of a couple, few years ago, the Mormons actually had a rule that like, you know, any and all abuse now doesn't get reported to authorities. It all has to go internally through the church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've met a few Mormons. They're nice people, for the most part. They just do some weird things. But yeah, yeah um, like it is all Mormon. They're all they all go to church. But like, are these places like using church like themselves, or are they just? Like, are they just saying, "Oh, this is like"? Are they saying it's like a what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, when it's not. Uh, Get lost. Can, can I um think of the word when it's yeah, not associated ahead. with religion? The word is it theo- uh, theologically, theologically based? Well, I'm saying well, religious. Yeah, well, yeah, no, I'm saying our so, like some non-secular. Of them, non-secular. Thank you. Yeah, Fuck, nice job. That was the word I was looking for. Yeah, so I wouldn't have got there. What's your big brain? Okay, are these things supposed to be like secular or non-secular, or is it a mixture based off like where it's kind of located type thing? That's what I'm getting. It's, I mean. They started central and like you know in Utah. They started in Utah and they branched Did to different areas. Too? But this, this yeah, the no, one the, the one he opened cro- uh, Cross Creek well, in Love Eric in Utah. The one that he first his worked first for? one opened in Utah. Well, no, I'm saying the fir- like the one that he initially worked for, like that. Yeah, that one was in okay, Utah so also. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so it's just like this is like a Utah fucking. Yeah. Well, th- they eventually like transgressed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying it was like a central hub is. Yeah. Okay. That's like yeah, that's it's my book. personal theory, and I'm going to go with just what I believe. None of this is fact. I believe that all these people growing up in Utah, bringing up, being brought up under that religion, like you said, it's a little weird, um, you know, in certain regards where you can't, you have to pass it through the church. That doesn't seem normal. Um, but they all grew up this way, and then, you know, I, I feel like the same way that that whole religion kind of like, I feel manipulates people into operating a certain way um, is the same technique he used to get manipulate people into um, a believing he's a person of God and b that um, you know the that his methods were you know good they were good and they they weren't good and this was all this was what you're saying was blanketed that this was the message that he was sp- sending to. The students there. This is the message that he was sending to the 
people that he was hiring, and this is the message that he was sending to the parents. That well, he was. He said that this evil. is his theory. So yeah, this, well, is yeah, saying, theory. Theory. Like, this, this is my theory. This is my theory, yeah, and he yeah. started it, but this is also my theory. The man's very smart, um, because once he started it, he found a way to just have, you know, things underneath him where he was pulling the strings, but he had other people's names in the responsible roles. So, yeah. like, like, almost like you know, like when, gangsters. Co when Casa by the Sea got raided, yeah, as much as it was under... Robert Litchfield's umbrella, it was Finlinson's ass getting looked at. Yeah. You know? So, like, he found a way to have a big influence in all these places without having any legal ramifications kind of brought his way. He's, he's ducked under the radar. Other people have been... And even the people that are in the spotlight, they still... I mean, I haven't heard anything about any of these people going away. George, now, don't he hasn't gone away? I don't think, right? Are any of these places still up, as far as your knowledge? Yeah, I know that he's had like a iterations of these places. Can I, so of these, places? these I just, places, I just did a quick Wikipedia glance, and there's like can fucking fifty of these goddamn places. I'm gonna, least. I'm gonna tell you straight up in the U.S. or just people we know. Associates. Go ahead. We'll start. You found out through, uh, through courses. I found out uh, through different actions. Through, through different, different actions. Through doing um, Sherlock Holmes stuff. Maybe maybe people that I know and people that uh, I don't know that had uh, people that went there. Aurora Healing, uh, Aurora Center for Healing in Nevada most recently closed down. Um, before it was closed down, uh, it was, there was a lot of, a lot of complaints, a lot of allegations, and um, you could look up the Aurora uh, Center for Healing um, if you want to. <laughs> so but like you, you're you're gonna find that there was uh, some misconduct there with uh, uh, a, a someone who worked there and an ex student uh, sending pictures, inappropriate pictures, and this guy had places in fucking Czech Republic. It's he had two in Costa Rica that I've seen of so far. It's, it's of absolutely fucking Western Samoa. It's absolutely and disgusting. At least two in this is a third one in Costa Rica. Jackson, I can't. Two even, in Mexico. I can't even like. Were these none I'm of these were angry. None what? of these were government funded, right? Nothing. No. Was, nothing no. was government subsidized. Or Can I tell you though that uh, our our dear friend Mr. Robert Litchfield here? Um, I mean, he, he was out. he was a campaign. He was like um, campaign fundraiser for Mitt Romney. He's yeah, one of Mitt's big guys. I saw oh, that. Shit, that. Remember that? Sharp. Yeah, I saw that. He was oh, a sorry. He was. No, you're, 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 you're good. Sure, 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 sure. He was a a big funder during that election period. Got Romney, that was uh, against Obama, right? Two two thousand twelve, I think. Yeah, twenty twelve. Uh, yeah. Oh shit! Right. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty twenty twelve. Sorry. So so there are certain ways, theoretically and allegedly, that he. Had you know he 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 had his um, hand in certain pots to where, um, and maybe he had like you know doing favors, been he's keeping himself out of um, the public eye. There's a lot of complaints that were called in that kind of got pushed to the side. So, hmm. I I know that there's been a couple different lawsuits against him, in, including a 2005 Utah-based one that was a class action with like 500 fucking people. Do you know about that one? It was dismissed. I um, think I heard something about it. That's... Jesus, dude. Um, so yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, uh, you know, we're, we're just hoping that someday uh, some of these guys... Uh, you know, they, they just face some kind of consequence for, for wh their alleged actions. I mean, we haven't really even gone. It, 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 my, we my, haven't talking about anything, really. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's hard to like uh, like I said, you know, after eighty seven, you know, he he got he was involved in nineteen ninety. He got his brother involved, Narvin. We know about Narvin. Um, it, it, 
Yeah, yeah it's it's just name. uh he, he pretty I know well like, I I think his name is Marvin, but he he nicknamed himself Marvin. Is that what I it was? I don't know. It's it's stupid. Nah, it doesn't. It is a stupid name. <laughs> It's allegedly a stupid name. Not a good joke. Oh, yeah, yeah. Allegedly <laughs> a stupid name. There you go. So, now, these, so they, like, they fucking black bag you into, like, vans and shit. In some cases. Not all cases. I, I, yeah. He wasn't black bagged. I saw his face, unfortunately. I mean, I'm using black bag as kind of a colloquial term. So gotcha. Okay, fair yeah. enough. You know, it's a, you know, and they get thrown in a van or whatever and taken. But, so, and this is all, like, with the parents' discretion. More or less. Unfortunately. And uh, so, so, I don't mean to cut you off because I just wanted before I forget. Did your Did your parents know how it was going to go down? Like, they, like, to, like it was going to be a van this, in the middle of the night. Yeah, like this scenario, or they kind of were just like, "We're going to come pick up your son." Uh, we'll um, here in this kind of. Area. It was known that uh, they they said that they generally don't willingly go, so like. Um, you, they would. They Expect talk. They talk. They talk. They talk them into getting permission to come, because it's pretty much they're like, well, he's not gonna. That's what they told him. He's not gonna. Um, he's not gonna do it willingly. Your best bet is to wait until he's home, and then we'll just take him. Don't worry about anything. You know, we'll get him in there or whatever, and we'll we'll get him safely to the school. Um, so that's what they promise, and you know. Uh, that that's I gotta tell you, like I feel bad. Like they feel, there there's no there's no feeling worse f- for any of us than that for them making that call and 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 making that decision. I knew nothing about it. I had no idea what was going on when I got home. They didn't tell me anything, Oof. and nothing. They told me nothing because they didn't want me to tell them. They didn't want me to tip them off. They I thought mean, his life was in danger. They thought he was going off the rails. They thought he wasn't going to make it. They, like, he, they literally thought that, that this that was his only chance. His was, was his only showing chance. Showing signs of like drug use or something. He was. He was. He was using a little bit. Again, um, you don't have to. If you don't. Yeah. No. That. He was though. He. You know. He was. And. Uh. You know. He. He was. He was. He was using. And and that was part of the problem. Uh, you know, yeah. it's he was a little bit out of control. Um, I mean, I understand that, like, to, in order to be like your parents, who have, you, you had to have had some sort of issues and whatnot. And that's usually what's going on with like all these, because clearly, I, again, not everybody even thought that this was like a uh, a, a treatment therapy no, for they, because they, it was yeah. advertised in the back of magazines as. And for some of them, as a fucking resort with horses and swimming pools yeah, and academics. This wasn't horses, like I don't think. Yeah, but it was that type but of thing. Yeah. I'm, u- I'm using the one that I know about specifically. They, right, right. Here's yeah. what they did. They threw a they threw a party once a year where they would have a photo. They would ha- hire a photographer to do all this stuff. And they would literally, prop from that up. one day, prop they would prop it up. Yeah. And then the rest of the year was nothing like that day. Like the interview. You know in the interview? You know they see the movie the Interview? I actually haven't, no. They go to, where do they go to fucking North Korea? North Korea, yeah. Oh, you know what I have seen that with Franco? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's all right. <laughs> Can, it, it's, not, it's not that special, but that just reminded remind me of it. It wasn't bad. <laughs> Eminem worse. comes out on are, the show. Are you okay with talking about the different levels and the different, are you okay so with that? So he didn't, he didn't talk to me much about that. I learned more about that from watching. Um, in some of his letters, he explained to me, oh, like, I'm almost graduated up to the next level. I'm doing this. I'm, you know. So, so I, I, know that there, I know that there were levels, and it was hard to, um, to get from level to level. But that was by design. And they knocked people down because they didn't want them graduating because they were trying to keep getting tuition. And that's, and that's the strategy well, that so they doing allegedly they used. So, so that's what I was actually going to say. Scientology's book with that type of thing. What? With auditing, yeah, where they have levels and you have to pay and almost pay yeah. into the levels to get that's to the stuff. That's all a lot of these. Yeah, that's, so now, because you said that he was there for seven months, is it one of those? It things? was like seven and a half, seven, a day, something like that. So, is, are there like individually individualized programs that are set out per person? Everyone starts the same way. Everyone starts at the bottom. And do you? And is it like? Basically, if you do, you might need a six-month program. You might need. Is it like a? No. 
you go for six months, you go for a year, or is no. it like, uh, you didn't like for example, was either? there for I I, I want to see the exact how many years, but I know it was more than five. So the the one that I know what? about from tra uh, Trapped in Treatment, mm -hmm. uh, she was actually a adopted child who was treated basically like shit in her home family, and they went away on vacation for the summer. And were, they didn't want to bring her because it was just a uh, a paycheck type shit. Like she was collecting off disability and for adopting the kid. And then she was collecting off of sending her kid to a therapy treatment over the summer. And again, she thought that like they saw everything in the books as, oh, this is a cool resort. There's therapy. There's books. There's this. There's horses. Blah, 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 blah. And... She ended up being there for over four years. She spent a Friday to Monday locked in a cell, effectively, allegedly, by herself with no food, no water, nowhere to fucking piss or shit because they just forgot about her due to some renovations. I, this is all, again, and I hate to say that I have to use the word allegedly on this because technically this is all alleged nothing has ever been convicted and fuck people like this man but it it's just some of the most heartbreaking fucking shit you'll ever hear man so she was i think 14 when she got in it, it's so she nuts. was there until she was 18 yeah and then when she graduated she was offered a job at a different fucking place so, so now Sorry. Down to the end. We've heard from you less. So, wait, wait. So, now, when they turn... When, now, were they automatically, like, basically kicked out at 18, or were they trying to, like, pull some bullshit to keep them longer? So, that's they, actually where they can, can They so can voluntarily yeah, stay. Lines, did voluntarily stay for a little while because uh, his story was a little different, right? Um... I don't want to tell, talk too much about his story, but I will say that like he didn't, he didn't, he 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 couldn't stand his parents. He, he's honest about this. He couldn't stand his parents for what they did, and he can, you know, he considers, um, you know, he said he considered his dorm parent more of a parent than his actual parents. So like, you know, for him, he didn't leave right away because he didn't got nothing to go back to. Um, but. You know, I, I, I don't know if, if he stayed a little bit longer and then left, but I know, um, you know, when he left, he had a plan. So and he, so and he was, and he, and he made good on that for himself. So kind of the piggyback, because, so at 18, that's considered the graduation, or is there other ways no, that you, you graduate? No, you don't, they make sure you, like, if you do the right thing, you'll graduate. If you do the right thing before you're 18, <laughs> they'll find ways to still knock you down. But if you, they'll make sure it lines like up. That you, like he graduated like he he got out of there March 29th because he was 18. I think he yeah he graduated sometime in March. Fuck man. They did a lot of work on the computer. They did uh, written work, but like whatever it was, it wasn't for nothing. It wasn't sanctioned education. Yeah. It was it was fucking garbage and bullshit so to put not a letting and not allegedly it fucking was because i could tell you firsthand that diploma wasn't accepted and it's fake and it's known to be fake known to be fake challenge me on that no one's getting sued that 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 it was fake we had to get another diploma he had to get another diploma no college would accept them are are you willing to talk about some of the things that you got in the letter yeah sure um, it, it was repetitive. It was repetition. You said a lot of the stuff was redacted, so you wouldn't. Like, it, yeah, potatoes. he. Um, it, there, it's it's ironic because one one letter he or not ironic. It's kind of just weird because one one letter he wrote me. He was angry, and he did write something about um one of his uh do his dorm parent or um it was. It, he said he's a that that fucking piece of shit like whatever he got yeah. away with it so yeah, yeah. they mu it must have gotten past eyes or something but yeah one of them got through but usually it was well behaved 
structured the same how are you what's good i've been doing this i'm doing good at school i'm trying to grab i'm trying to advance you know i miss the family yeah, very and, cookie cutter um but that's the way it was in his file uh and and I, this is an interesting thing i don't know if you did you watch the documentary i didn't Jackson? get a chance to and so quite honestly i don't know if i'd be able to handle a documentary I, I, I it's made, hard to watch. We tried to put it on this morning, and I was I, like, "It's I, hard." It's as, as, as you saw a little bit earlier about with me and Gary getting at it, like I, something involving kids, it yeah. it does not sit right with me. It's fair. I got to tell you at first, uh, you know, I wanted a lot of my closest friends and family to watch it because um, a lot of people had a misunderstanding of my brother, and you know, this kind of explains a lot. The people didn't know. Um, like things he went through and so I wanted everyone to watch it and like you know uh, one of my best friends he uh, you know it's like my brother he um, it's like a brother to my brother and he just can't he won't do it because uh, it's too painful for him and you know it's he, he loved my brother and he has kids and he you know he got mad when his daughter watched it he got really upset because he's like, I didn't want her to watch that. But, um, yeah, it's... Uh, Shit like that's fucking the, hard, man. It's... The, the, yeah. What was the... What was the? Where do we start with that? I'm sorry. We'll uh, edit that. It's okay. Kind of graduated. I, I, I had asked if you were willing to talk about some things in the letters. Yeah, it's, it was cookie cutter. And then I went to go on... I'm sorry. I went on You're to okay. say how... The files, right? So I'll pick up with the files. Um, Take a second if you need. Yeah, to. no, the documentary. Uh, there's a part of the documentary where they show all the files that they found um, in the building because in this, this is an abandoned place. To give you a history on, you know, Roberts, uh, you know, his, his Robert family. Litchfield, his family members, uh, place Ivy Ridge. When that place got shut down, <clears throat> they did not take anything off the premises it was left there they assumed it was going to be cleared out or whatever a lot of that stuff was picked up by the old students um that's why probably why a lot of it legally is tough to you know go with and it's all these years later but that stuff is out there that stuff is there it's there and um the 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 files were real that that was a real moment when when we reached out to uh in Pennsylvania and got the files uh, we, we sent for the files we got the <coughs> file um, as real life as you could get you open it up there's like some water damage and like you know it's you could tell the shit was old yeah. but it's all there every day the shit that they made the, the they, made, they made my brother write like five lines like he was a robot every single day and like you know i think the middle two would be a little different but the other two is exactly right they, they were all they was like do you mind sharing what it said um again you don't have to yeah, uh, that's, yeah. i don't have them on me and i haven't looked at them in a while that's but fair. the fair. last one uh, this is this one hurts because the last one was always about family um it was i miss my family and deluding how he wanted to be better to his family. And then uh, one of the letters, I guess I hadn't written him enough back because I was busy in my life. And he didn't write anything in that last line. So, uh, you know, it was, they, they were, they were, like I said, allegedly um, broken down completely. And, pretty much just um manipulated and and pretty much like abuse they they were they were they were walked on they were j they were they were uh, it, it was they were they mental were mental and physical abuse to the extreme yeah. like jackson said they were prisoners is what they were they they yeah. there was prisoners Are you guys uh was is one of the guys who led the riot right you guys heard about the riot, the one that got, it was like one of the main things that happened at the end. All the, you know, uh, but the riot, um, said he went to jail after, I, cause he got arrested that and he said that jail, he, he would take jail any day of the week over Ivy Ridge. 
Oh, yeah, you can't fucking physically abuse your prisoners in jail. Correct. That's just to give you an idea. I should know. I was a CO. Mm-hmm. You'd get in a fuckload of trouble if you were to even touch them with a, anything. Yeah. I mean, fair, fair enough. They could also get in a fuckload of trouble if they touched you. Mm-hmm. But it was a very... Like, again, time. that's totally neither here nor there. And yeah. it... Like I said, that this is the worst fucking way to end this month. Something so fucking yeah. dark and depressing. Somehow it got worse. It just it it it's uh it it needs to be. I'm I'm glad you decided to talk about it. And I know we didn't it, we were I, you know we didn't get very far into details, but like. Honestly, I'm you know glad what, that you decided to. keep going as far yeah. as you, you know, like, I, we can, about, we right? can go, but like, you know, I, some, sometimes, le- sorry to pick up, like, sometimes like the actual detailed details, like, you, like you, you, you don't want to rehash some of that shit, you know? Yeah. Like, it's better off to just get out the, the raw emotion of just like, this is like how I'm feeling kind of, which what you're definitely doing. This is what he did. This is how it affected my family. Like the details and stuff. Like that's like like the like that's you know, that's gonna re- that that's gonna really open up stuff like that yeah. you don't really want to it's yeah. better off that you don't deal with that stuff like you just yeah yeah it it's yeah it's uh yeah hopefully I'm just glad I saved them you. Yeah, yeah I say I saved the letters uh you know I what I did is I left them um I left them with my mother um with the file. Because she's got the file. And uh, I don't know if she's got the file or she gave the file to someone else, but someone's got the file. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's all, there's, uh, you know, there's. It's fucking dark. We, we, yeah, we, you know, there's, there's, thing, there's things that we believe uh, will come to, but a lot of people have evidence. A lot of people have evidence and files. It's a lot of it's not incriminating but collectively it could se- it could tell a story yeah. um somebody's got to come up with a way to find some find evidence that can clearly point a finger at these guys individually so that they're not just to, to continue to deflect and deflect and then because then as long as they do that then they're never going to be held responsible and they're never going to actually have to you know they'll never actually have to fucking live uh, you know like behind bars and live with the fucking realization that people know that they're fucking pieces of shit and now they're convicted of it you know well jason finlinson lost his job one like shortly after that documentary came off his construction company that he was working for fired his ass i mean but that's like the that's so the, minor and certain that's some the, terms the of least cases. of the things that he should endure it is the least but his name is out there and i doubt anyone else is going to hire that scumbag the le- but you that know what alleged the pro- scumbag. But you know what the problem is? You can't, like, th- this place, the world is so big. The country is so big. There's so many people that live under a rock. He'll find a fucking job. He'll catch on. It might not be a construction job that, like, he fucking wants to, but, like. You just want to see him get justice. That fellow's got a lot of enemies. I got news for you. Like, that's I, like, I myself. I'll be real. I I was blind with rage for a while, but I I I don't have that in me anymore. And I know someone's gonna get his ass, <laughs> one way or another. You know, I mean, like you know, whether it's you know, Bubba like someone like law. someone in blue with the handcuffs, someone's gonna get his ass. Yeah, or Bubba behind bars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with any, with any hope, hopefully someone leg sweeps him like he did though everyone else, all those that unsuspecting means. kids. That being said, we do not encourage vigilantism. No, no, no way. No, 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 no. 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 This is this no, is, no, no, no. This is not a manhunt. No, no, no. Um. For. Don't. No, no. Someone could wish though. Not no. that somebody. D- no, 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 like no, 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 no. That he gets justice. No. You can wish for. Yeah, justice. Yeah, I want justice. I want justice. I want whatever form of justice I can get, and I. That's just. I hope he lives a really crummy life. The rest of it. Every time he opens a beer, it fucking spills all over him. Yeah. Mm. Stuff like that. His socks are always wet. Socks yeah, I hope his socks are always wet. May you always wear wet socks forever. It's just but, uh, yeah, no, he's, he's... The pockets in your pants are wet as well. You know, they... No, they they burned a lot of... They burned a lot of my, uh... You ever have wet pockets in your pants? 
No. What? <laughs> what an oddly specific thing to say. You've never taken your pants out of the fucking dryer. The pockets haven't been fully fucking... No, I dry my up. clothes properly like a fucking adult. <laughs> Who the fuck? What? All right. Yeah. Weird sidetrack there. Anyway. 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 So now, is there any, like, thing specifically, like... You know, like, with, in terms of, like, the places that may or may not still be open, like, uh, like, is there any, like, particular, like, warnings or, like, so to say, like, a... Is there anything you want to say to the people that may not know what's going on in potential areas yes. that may still, unfortunately, have to deal with shit like this? I, I, I have a very direct message from someone who came from a family, um who did we did we, we loved we loved you know i love my brother my my parents love their son you know we all we all spent our lives doing everything we could for him you know from me moving him in to vegas to them to sending him to the best possible place they could they thought yeah. <clears throat> you know my recommendation is if there's an issue with someone you love your your child you got to do that parenting yourself. You, 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 you know, you, you either got to do that parenting yourself or send them to a real professional. Don't send Wait, them to a place. Do not send them to a facility where there are multiple, multiple kids that no one's getting attention. They're not getting attention. They're getting controlled. They're getting controlled so that they can be, you know, pretty much, you know, mindless tenants and that these people can collect your money. Uh, your child is not getting better. Uh, they're they're just your life is getting more convenient. Um, that's not what any of us wanted. That wasn't the what. But like you know, you 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 have to face. You have to face. You have to step up for your loved one and and help them or help them help themselves. Uh, that's, that's that's all. I, that's all I'm gonna say about that. That's probably the most brutally honest line I've fucking heard in a long goddamn time the their life isn't getting any better uh, getting any better yours is just getting more convenient that fucking Jesus man I, and and it I'm sucks to say that I am so sorry the situation too. They, I, my, uh, you know Jesus it's just dude. the way it ha it's just the way it turns out it, you know in Fuck hindsight uh, but you know um I, you know, I just think that, uh, you know, that's not how my parents felt. Um, they tried a lot of different things. But, uh, again, you know, uh, the thing is, is I don't think a lot of people are going to fall for places like this again because the resources are there now. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot more. You couldn't look up a place like this in the past. It wouldn't come up. Like, not, not the bad stuff. Yeah. You know, it would just be like the, you said, all the – stuff the paid here's advert the, here's the fucking yeah. horses and the rainbows yeah. and sunshine but you know the world that with these platforms like uh the myspace really got these kids in touch it was myspace myspace and then you know facebook became even a bigger network and and uh all these kids uh twitter all like you know they, it's just more access and people talk about it more and i'll be real just in a world of more technology you can't get away with anything anymore. Yeah. So, like, I don't think t today that it's as bad as it was, per se. So, I think a lot of this shit that you're hearing about is from a lot of stuff that happened back when it was able to happen more. Um, it is still happening. Don't let it, don't let it fool you. It is still happening. Uh, I'm just saying it's not probably on the level that it once was, but it still needs to stop. Um, it's not, you know, these places... Look into them. If you if you know any any time, just look into the places. If you're gonna send your kid anywhere, that's the last thing I'll add. Just look, do real research. You know, talk to real people um, that have seen any kind of result. You know, talk to talk to other kids that have went there. And don't just read a re don't re like read a review. You know, read on the back of a, p a brochure or on the back of a pamphlet. You know, get testimonial from. You know, talk to people that went there. Talk to people that are working there. Get a feel for it. Try and visit the place. If you can't even visit the place, then it's probably not a good place. 
Like if they're if they're shutting you out, like yeah, they want they're gonna they're gonna probably separate and try and get the you know work some things in there. But like if you don't have real they have access, one model building. They have one model building that they show for the tour. Yeah. They have one room, yeah. Yeah, and and then everything else is different. If you're not getting access and stuff like to really see, then it's there's probably some shady shit going on that they don't want you to see, which is why you don't get the access to see these things. Yeah. So they're going to put on a show for you, but if you're not getting the inside access to things, then you're then that's that's where all the stuff's going down, and they don't want you to see that shit. So they just put on the, the play. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yep. I fucking hate shit like this. Man. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you know what, though, for me, uh, my brother passed away in... Uh, it was three years ago in November. So, um, and and this documentary came out last March. So I I literally like I could talk about it now, um, in a rational manner. But oh, for, for you know when I first saw that, when I first saw that, and I saw the things that he went through, uh, what all those kids went through. Oh man, it's it's like uh, I talked to a friend of mine to just to give you an idea, um, really close friend of mine from Jersey, and they had seen it and they had no idea my brother had anything to do with it. They did they didn't know that was about the place my brother went, and uh, she goes, you know, Tony saw that, and he was absolutely furious. He's like, we we usually watch these things and like he doesn't really have reaction, but he was so mad and we don't even know we didn't think we knew anyone that went there. <coughs> Like yeah, well, you know, it's yeah, you, you, if, you did. <laughs> if, you have, if you have a rational mind, then you there's no yeah you can't you can't not watch that and be like, this is absolutely horrific, and <coughs> extremely fucking sad. Yeah. It's um. Yeah. I just uh. I, so they're still running. He's still on, he's still on the um. Someone did investigating and, and found that uh, there is a current facility open where his name is on the um, I was his name is on the like uh, the building like not on the building physically but like he owns the building. There yeah. was a, an assessment written where he was listed as the owner. I was gonna say that there's according to Wikipedia, Sunset Bay Academy in Mexico mm -hmm. is still allegedly currently open according. As of, as not whether or not they secretly reopen some of these places privately. They do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Under the place that shut down in Aurora, Aurora Healing Center, is already reopened somewhere else. Yeah. So like all that work that uh, those people that I you know they did, it was great work and uh, things got brought to light. But guess what? It just happened somewhere else now. So, yeah. Because I mean, like Jackson mentioned, what was it? Forty thousand dollars a year. Forty-two thousand dollars a year. And that was 07 money. And 07 money. So now, who knows what the fuck it is. You know, and whatever, again, but so now this is 10,000 plus people that were helped. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the pockets, they're, they're deep. They're able to open up things, you know, it's like, just like that. They have the money. There's one of the, the, the guy is, is friends with and making contributions to somebody who's running for the presidency. So he clearly oh, has sorry. some fucking inside poll. And so... It, Things like this could sprout up anywhere. He's got Wait, the money. He's got Romney connections. Mormon? What? Who? Isn't Romney a Mormon? Oh, I'm sure. Probably. That's probably it how they got It wouldn't surprise me. Those guys all stay together. Well, so, to, to be fair, just because you donate to a political party doesn't mean that you're actually connected to somebody of the political party. I mean, if they're saying... that's neither here nor there. That's, that's totally yeah, sidetracked. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he's but, making a, a p political contributions... If I give five th five dollars, they're not going to be like, oh, he. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, just because somebody donates money does not technically mean that they're yeah. Already. But I, technically, it doesn't it, mean that. It, it, it may or may not mean that their views align where they, yeah, yeah. And even then, and they the, could just the more want the somebody more than somebody else. Correct. Like yes, for and the all legal reasons. Like and oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But yeah, and the more, the, but you can obviously assume that the more the contribution, the more likely that. They nope. Are, they can't assume. Can't assume any year, right? Allegedly, whatever. Allegedly, whatever. You can make guesses, but you can't assume. <coughs> so, all right. For legal reasons, those definitions do matter. Yeah. So, all right. Do you want to talk about how 
having a network of, of people and then having uh, the ability to talk to these people has helped you with the um, the pro like the process of of this whole and again that's it's if you're willing it's if you're, that's what you're saying, you um I like how it's helping my mother uh, I'm 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 cool with uh, I talk to a few of them here and there not about yeah, not stuff, about their yeah. time just like just I talk to them just because uh, they're good people and uh, you know we all we all have something in common uh, but you know it's for for my mom it's different you know because um, my mom in a way is uh, she's she's more the advocate. You know, she's the one who's out there all the time and, and you know, going to things. And, and the, the, these, like I said, these people have been at our house. There, there is a documentary um, coming out shortly um, that's centered around my brother, actually. Um, just like, you know, the ty I don't know exactly what the hell they did, but they were shooting for, like, they came uh, two different weekends and were there for days. And... Uh, you know, I, I know that there's, you know, there's, it's, they're doing an awareness video. Yeah. So there, it's another awareness video to sway people away from sending your uh, loved ones to the school. But for that reason, you know, it's great having the community involved. He's probably the most uh, active <clears throat> like he 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 goes on and talks to people every day just to see how everyone's doing, you know, uh, for his own benefit too. Just to you know, I, I, they try everyone tries to keep in touch with each other's support because some people have bad days and they need people to lean on. Yeah. <coughs> I'm gonna probably have to edit some of that out, but some of that was good. It's okay. I'll, oh my god. I'll do what I can. I'm okay. No, I'm okay. We're good. Let's go. Pass that to him. <laughs> Thank you. My boy, Blue. I'm good. Let's go. All right. Uh, so, what else did you have to talk about for us? Um, whatever else you want to go on about, man. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much more to talk about. I mean, because it's all going to... It's it's. We're pretty much just bringing... A scumbag to light, an alleged scumbag to light. Um, it's all personal opinions. He's, yeah, he's a scumbag. Cohorts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, legal reasons. Although I don't think that scumbag has any legal definition term. Right. We'll find out. <laughs> it's just a condom. A condom? A scumbag is a condom? A scumbag is a condom. That's exactly what a scumbag <laughs> is. That's a, it's a slang word for a fucking condom. He's actually not wrong. So I know I'm not wrong. That's, that's why I fucking said it. And then, you know why I know that? Because when because I you're was, a scumbag. Because I am a scumbag. Um, because Good for my you, buddy. because my parents didn't wear a scumbag, and now I'm here. Uh, well, I guess my dad didn't. But anyway, okay. um, no. Yeah. So anyway, so that's Garrick for you. Yeah. To, mm -hmm. I guess I the best picture anyone could paint is just if you can suck it up. Is you're you're gonna get the best. Uh, Catherine, Catherine, um, she just did such a good job, like, you know. With the documentary? With the documentary, uh, just with all the information. I, th I think the more people see that, the more, um, the more of an understanding that there is going to be, um, you know, nothing's glorified, nothing is exaggerated. It's as is information. It's very raw. It's very raw. Um, that being said, not sponsored. Uh, what mm -hmm. service is it on? Uh, it it on was Netflix. on Netflix. I don't it's know if it still is. still on Netflix. Is. It is, yeah. Okay, okay. just wanted to make sure so people know where to find said documentary. Yeah. So they know what's up. Just she, uh, she's, she's a really good person. Uh, she's not out to get anyone by any means. Um, like, you know, for example, uh, when it was my brother's... Uh, when it was my brother's birthday recently, like, she sent flowers. Her and the other guy, they sent flowers to mom. 
you know. Yeah. They're good people. They, you know, and I, I feel like I feel like her story should be told, and their and the kids' stories should be heard. Of course. And um, it's painful and it sucks, but uh, you know, I at the end of the day, uh, you know. I, I got it. It's it, it's better that their stories are heard and told than not. Yeah. I haven't seen the the Tortured Teens one. Have you seen that one? No. Th- there's a newer documentary called Tortured Teens. I don't know what it's regarding, but it's about also about the industry. I can't speak on that one at all, but it's out. Hmm. Yeah. I know that I know that Wasp wasn't the only tortured teen or a teen uh-huh. correctional facility that was out there that's under litigation and under scrutiny. Mm-hmm. There's, there's some it's, like it's there's just some the one Long island that that have some like that did some crazy shit and like they're upstate and stuff <laughs> a buddy of mine went to and he he's had some crazy stories about some stuff that yeah. the people there had to endure and like they would put people in like they'd have to sleep in like a crib and like wear diapers and stuff oh yeah, yeah. i don't I, that doesn't surprise me it's degrading they they minimize you yeah, they, like they, they break right. like i said it's a breaking down tactic they you make aren't you feel meant to be a person at the end of it they're doing that shit to the parents they're making them yeah. beat themselves up with uh or they were making uh what the hell was it like uh carry on throw tantrums like uh like children in in seminars for christ's sake yeah. Wait, what do you mean that's how far the cult went. They, they, they told, in order to be able to see your kid for the first time, you had to attend a seminar. Yeah. And when in these seminars, they, they, the things that happened in these seminars were fucking bizarre. You could read the accounts. Like, there's certain uh, people. There was, um, I think one person quit because he's like, he saw what was going on in the seminar. He's like, I, this is fucking crazy. Um, but there's other testimonials of, like, the but seminars of people like, I... You know, my parents, they won't even talk about the seminar, you know. So it, it, it's because it, they said they, it, it, they just can't, you know, they should have known at that moment, you know, that something was fucked. But it's, you know, you just go along with the flow. They know what they're doing. They know what they, t- what they tell you. They know what they're doing. It's all part, all part of the process. Yeah. They know what they're doing. There. They sure know what they do. They know what they're doing. Is, is there anything that you want to put out for people who may have suffered but don't know any groups? Is there anyone that like you can recommend for them to uh, get in contact with? For, for trouble team? No, no particular names of people, just who to reach out group-wise. You talking about trouble teen industry? Uh, I think just more Trouble like, teens, um, sur- uh, other survivors, things like that. Family members of people who have if, suffered. If you go, if you go on um, Ivy Ridge Facebook pages, um, if you're a survivor and you identify yourself and you tell them like what you know, if if you if you're if they know you're legit, they'll invite you on. Uh, you just have to find the right pages. I I, I know there's some private pages. I, I I don't know what I'm which ones I'm supposed yeah, to say because yeah. I'm. It's okay. Um, there we. I didn't uh, know if, it, if what there happens any public is groups or anything for people who had support type thing. Yeah no. Uh, if it's not, it's okay. I no I yeah I don't know. I okay. just I I know that the the kids in the the Ivy Ridge community talk and. Uh, they would welcome anyone else in if they knew that they were, le- you know, legit- yeah. legitimately a survivor or a family member of a survivor or someone who was a supporter because, you know, that's what those people need the most is something they never got with some support, you know? Yeah. So, they'll, you know, they'll, you know, I, if you're really watching, just find out from these guys how to get in touch with me. I'll get you in touch with the right people. All right. Uh, is there anything anybody wanted to finish up on? I no. no. Uh, I hope I hope uh, <laughs> hope my brother doesn't hate me for doing this. <laughs> no, I honestly I I think he's I think he's proud of you for si- for being able to sit here and talk to us, talk to the to the listeners. Get your feelings out there. Get your thoughts out there. Just, just be able to tell his fucking story just to be some yeah, to extent. Let his, 
to let his let let that all live on and hopefully you can help and touch somebody who's listening to this and they could uh, reach out and help and touch somebody that they think might need the help we may and not be very big but fuck man if anybody who like he said is listening needs to get in contact with somebody needs help in some way like there are there, we're a survivor avenues. family there's we're a survivor avenues. family i'll talk to you i i i've gone through all this the hard way you could share you could share anything with me and and you know i can't be there for my brother i could be there for you you people know? will I, listen to you. There are a lot people of people want to help you. Exactly. There are a lot of genuinely, genuinely You're not in this alone. Genuine people that want to be a part of what you're going through to help you make it out the other side. There are. You have to find them, you can find them, but just don't open your heart up to everybody and don't open your trust up to anybody and everybody. That that's that's all I have to say. Yeah. Care, careful with who you trust too with those with those uh, groups, because so, there's some people who just I don't know. Like, like what we said for some of the previous episodes this month. I don't I don't even know if I could say goodbye. Uh, good night. This has been such a fucked episode. I mean, and this it's so fucking shitty. This shit happens to people, man. I mean, I'm not not trying to say this to as like a personal channel growth thing, but like, you know, if you, if if you watch this and like. You know, just just share, say the story around, like. Please, people need to know about some of this yeah, shit. Like, it, he is. This isn't like a personal. I oh, nev- we're doing this like like share I never comment, knew. subscribe thing. This is like a, you know, this is a. We want to seek to help get, for people. Yeah, share like, this to help people. Like I never even knew who the fuck this was until you mentioned it. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, like the, I like I only loosely knew kind of slightly about this because I read an article about it a decade ago, online and. Uh, and you, that, I, like I said, that was a decade ago. I didn't I, even really think about it. Exactly. And, and yeah. you, know what's, you know what's crazy? Because you kind of took the words out of my mouth. So, like, the, do- the documentary came out, right? And you, you mentioned how your friend in New Jersey saw the documentary. He was upset about it. And he was like, oh, this is fucking ridiculous. Obviously, that's the proper reaction to it. You know, D, when you read that article, you're like, this is fucking crazy. This is ridiculous. But, like you just said, you didn't really think about it. You had that moment of rage you're like, fuck, this is crazy. I can't believe this is happening. I don't really know how to do anything to change it myself. I can't really do anything about it. It's depressing to think about it, so I'm going to kind of move on. But, like, I probably would have done the same thing. If I would have watched that documentary and not had a connection with you, I would have been outraged. I would have been, fuck. I would have been like, oh, my God, what do I, you know, like, I wouldn't know what to do. But, like, I still don't really know what to do. But, like, I have the connection is, like, real because you're my boy. Like, you're one of my really good friends and to see you struggling with this fucking sucks, you know? And, like, you'll text me and, like, start, like, these things, and it's like, I can't believe, like, like, th- like this is what you had to deal with and this is what you're going through. And, like, you really don't know what somebody's going through on a day-to-day basis. Like, you see them out on the streets. You see them out at work. And, like, you're, they have a smile on their face. They're going about their stuff. And, like, people are so so quick to just, like, overreact and instant react and, like, they don't realize that it's like that instant reaction to something that somebody did that was just like minor, like could trigger and like completely spiral that other person out of control or like, like it, it, people don't understand how their interactions with other people really could affect what's going on. And this is exactly the thing. Like the interactions, it's all fucking broke. Like everything's just shattered because the interactions with these fucking monsters shattered everything along the way mm-hmm. and it's like I kind of lost where I was going with this but like basically like it, it, it's it's real people are suffering and you have to talk to people about it you have to find out what they're going through you know check up on your people always check up on your people and again, for, not, for not endorsing vigilanteism is like the way no, to solve no, it no 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 I, I didn't want to mention there, that. Like, wanted, you know, I'm not there trying to get anybody to go out there it's definitely not a way to help solve that situation no no just situation. go and talk to your people your loved ones the people you cherish talk to them and how you feeling for real how you feeling not these fucking like oh how you been man how you I doing how's it no like legit I conversation I, I do want to the sauce here back here hmm? I, I want to say that for legal reasons we are not therapists. We are not professionals. I, I am willing to while. listen. I, I am willing to listen to a story. Not but, bragging, but I was for a while. But for for all purposes, 
please, if you need help, there there are avenues. The like, again, I will listen to a story. Anyone here will listen to a story. There are good people in the world who want to help. Find a real fucking professional. We'll listen. We'll do what we can. But fuck. Anyway. Yeah. I'm hoping one day we could do a happy ending follow up episode on yeah. this uh on this ship egg September uh honoree. Okay. Mr. Robert Browning Litchfield. Ship eggs eats a ship. That? Shit stain. Shit guys, ship egg eats a right. shit. It's fine. Yeah. I know, I know. It's just the alliteration. It's fine, it's fine. Let it be. Shit stain September? It's fine, let it be. It all works. Oh, no, it, it still works. It still works. It's just <laughs> <laughs> He's a linguist over there, that guy. No, it's just the, the alliteration linguist. thing was, my, uh, very was my brainchild, so to say. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm the one who came up with the theme for the month. <laughs> I like it. Anything thank to close you. this off, as I said earlier? Uh, thank you to the people who have been supporting us through this month, actually, for once. We actually got some positive subscriber growth, so... Uh, weirdly enough, out of I, I, then again, this checks chart with this type of stuff on YouTube. So, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I, again, as stated, we're not professionals. I'm willing to listen. I'm sure anyone here will be. Yeah. There are people that want to help you, if you actually like. Please if feel free to reach subscri- out. Uh, yeah. s- s- subscriber, s- not subscriber. I don't I mean, survivor I just is the word I was looking for. Survivor. I'm a even subscriber. Survivor. And a survivor. And a survivor. Family of su- sur- uh, survivors. Like it doesn't even have to be a survivor of this, like in particular thing. If you are like a survivor of something traumatic in general, like this, like it, it doesn't have to be a wasp program. It could be any. It could be the not a wasp program. The, the variants of it, these and stuff. It, yeah. yeah. There are there are non versions of these that exist it, out there. Yeah. Again, we're not professionals. We're willing to listen, but just don't send your kids to fucking terrible sweepaway camps. Please, I never. No, just just the just the ones that are They're actual camps. Fuck, man. So, rich man, I love you, dude. I always got your back. Anytime you need to talk, I'm always fucking here for you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, Thank this you. is the fucking shittiest situation. I mean, yeah, it's uh, you know, I've had like I said, I've had, I've had a little bit of time to accept that, uh, you know, twenty plus years. You know, it's if, if anything happens, that's a bonus because nothing, you know, it, it's a lot of people getting off scot free right now. So, I we'll just I uh, want to I want to say thank you for actually coming on and helping share this because, like I said. Before this, I had no idea who the fuck this guy even was, or why he was why. He, yeah. And I, I, I truly wish that, like, uh, honestly, if nothing else happens, people know who the fuck this guy is and some of the alleged things that he's done. Yeah. And what he's I, responsible for. Right. And his whole family, minus, uh, not minus Nathaniel. We like Nathaniel. Anybody even loosely associated with some of the shit that happened. Yeah. And, and you guys, if you guys have watched, you know, the, anybody who's watching multiple episodes, you, you, this is usually a podcast that's a little more upbeat, a lot, a lot more upbeat, and it just speaks to the, 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 gra- the uh, gravity of this situation. You know, like it the just gravitas, gravitas. <laughs> it, it just speaks to how, like, it's, 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 it's so unfortunate. But uh, yeah, I don't know. 